Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Another dev stream, more cards revealed. Um, let's let's get into it and see what memes they dropped on us this time. Um, first up is Doppler, special organic card, transform into a random bronze unit from your faction. So this might be a home run, it might pull a Freya for you when you need it. It might be a completely, totally dead card <laughs> that's just going to be like two or three strength. So, uh, way, way too random for for anything. I think even for draft mode to pick this thing, it's too random. But I'm sure someone will run it and uh, probably beat me with it someday. <laughs> uh, next up, uh, Black Blood Alchemy Special Item. Choose one, spawn a bronze or silver necrophage or vampire, or destroy a bronze or silver necrophage or vampire. Um, this one just seems like it's too situational. You could spawn a, a grave hag or more tart. I guess that's the the home run situation if you got a lot of stuff in your graveyard. <laughs> Other than that, it just seems like it's a lot of cards that. Unless you have a big necrophage vampire deck, it's probably not going to work for you. And if you're running anything else besides monsters, it's not going to seem like it's going to work with your deck. You know Why it's neutral is, is kind of weird too. I guess because you're destroying one, but still, it just seems like a really bad card. Um, before we go to that one, let's do this one. Uh, Sahil... It's, this is their first like big gold weapon that they've revealed. Um, they've been showing this card for a while. It's uh, deal 3 damage to all enemies with odd power, or deal 3 am damage to enemies with even power, or summon a random bronze or silver unit. And that's from anything. It's, it's the whole pool, so... It... Uh, the the damage effects don't seem very good unless it's on a really long round against like a Henselt Swarm or a Swarm deck in general but uh, the random unit just seems way way too uh, too off base um, another one it just seems like it's it's not going to work out for you. you you could be running gold weather or something that's a little bit better than this cool card though uh next one is shoop's big adventure this card is bananas um if your starting deck has no duplicates send shoop on an adventure so you're baking a deck of 25 cards with no duplicates so this card better do some absolutely insane things because if it doesn't it, it, there's no way you would run this, but it has to do something insane. Um, it, it has three different options. They each have strength. Shoop Mage, I believe, is four strength. The Shoop Hunter is eight. And then the Knight is 12. And then each one of them have like a spell or a, a deploy ability that you get to choose from. There's five abilities per subset you know mage hunter and knight and then it lets you choose from three in the spawn create mechanic so i guess some of them though are card draw which is huge but uh it's it's definitely going to be probably everybody's going to try this day one and whoever figures out the the code to just have a deck with one ofs is is going to be number one on Gwent DB that week. That's all I can say because the whatever these abilities are, they have to be so OP that uh, I just uh, it it's insane to me. I mean, it, a four strength unit that makes your whole deck not really that synergistic. Just I'm going to try it, of course, but wow, I mean. I guess we got to see what the abilities are. They they said a couple of them were like draw cards and destroy an enemy and stuff like that. But I mean, are you going to build your whole deck around destroying an enemy or drawing one card? I don't know. It, it would have to be like three cards or something like that for me to even consider this. 
but uh, we'll have to wait and see. It, se it's, it's, it seems like a really crazy card. Um, monsters, um, Lamia, deal 4 damage to an enemy. If the enemy is under Moonlight, deal 7 damage. So there's going to be this whole Moonlight deck with the Sirens and the Werewolves and everything. Depending on what Moonlight does is going to factor into how good all these Moonlight cards are. If, if it is, uh, I think the Blood Moon effect is going to pull strength from your opponent and give it to you. And then the Moonlight effect is just going to be like fog for your side of the board. Which is going to be pretty cool. Um, one of the decks I'm going to try right off the bat. Um... If, if, if it is the way I think it's going to be, I think these cards are going to be pretty good. This card I really love. Um, Bridge Troll, move a hazard on an enemy row to a different row. Um, so you can move Ragnarug to a different row if it's cleared. You can move Drought to a different row. You can move Fog to another row. And if you have extra Foglets in your deck... It'll pull a foglet with it when it moves it, which is really cool, I think. I think that's going to be uh, something that I'm going to have to try out because I, I miss the old foglet spam deck. So, And the way I draw foglets, who knows, maybe if I can get them out of my deck by moving the weather, we might be okay. Um, uh, the Wispus Tree... Uh, Wispus Tribute, Relic Mage, play a bronze or silver organic card from your deck. So this one, it pulls from your deck, this one's random. So it's a more consistent leader than Hillock. I guess you could play them both in the deck, and you got this, like, organic synergy. Um, some of the silver cards are pretty good. I mean, you get, like... Uh, Monster's Nest is, I guess, the dream card you want to pull from this, but there's some other good ones you could pull. Um, I, I, of course, I'm going to try the cards out, but I'm not real sure on these, but they got that, like, 666 going on here, so I'm wondering if this is going to be 6 strength here. <laughs> 6 strength silver, organic something. Cool card. Uh, artwork's amazing on these, these, these crones. I love it. Um, the Recruit Soldier. Play a random bronze soldier from your deck. You could set this up like they said to where if you just have one soldier in your deck or one type of soldier, it, he'll always pull that. Um, it'll, it depends on how good this soldier deck's going to be. I mean, stealing your enemies and then spawning units from your opponent's deck. We'll have to wait and see. It, it, if you can get some kind of synergy going with these, it, it might be okay. The, the soldier deck, or the soldiers have been lacking in Nilf cards, so I think they're pushing them pretty hard along with the spell variant to get people off of the spies, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, the Nilf card gate, it's a tactic special. Play a bronze or silver officer from your deck and boost it by two, so it's... It's like reinforcements for Nilfgaard. Um, this will probably be pretty good. Um, it is a tactic card, so you can pull it with Letho. There's that combo there. I think I think it's going to be a pretty good card. There's there's a lot of officers in in Nilfgaard, so I think it's going to be pretty good. And cycling through your cards like that, it, it's always a good thing. I mean, there's a reason why John Natalis plays reinforcements, you know. Uh, the other one, uh, Vigriff, or it looks like Jeff, like the gun. My name's Jeff. <laughs> Play a bronze machine for your deck. This one doesn't seem very good. The Most of the machines require the reveal part of it so unless there's another machine that's going to be added in here which it doesn't look like the rest of these look like they're going to be some sort of some kind of spells or items 
Um, so unless this is a really kick-ass machine that's silver, this one doesn't seem very good at all. Um, I mean, you got Hefty Helga, but it's another one where if it, you want to kind of reveal it. Um, Northern Realms. Uh, this card seems really cool. Kedwini Revenant. Uh, Cursed Soldier. Kedwini. Um, whenever you play a spell, spawn a copy of it on a random road. Do not repeat. So this, to me, this is, if you played Hearthstone, this seems like Grim Patron. Like when they got damaged, you got a whole bunch of them. Um, how you can get a bunch of these on the board, I'm not really sure. But uh, it definitely seems like it can get out of hand if you can find a way to do it. Um, I'm sure that Sill is involved with this deck, with maybe the Ale. But uh, it, uh, it definitely seems like something fun to play, where you can spam stuff, especially with, you know, you got the... Uh, the siege supports and stuff, so they're going to get buffed as they pop out. So, pretty cool card. I, I think it's going to, it's got some potential. Uh, the Ked Winnie Knight uh, boosts this unit by five if played from the deck. Um, so, if you play Reaver Scout on this, it'll uh, it'll be 13. That's pretty cool. Um, or if you pull it with Dijkstra. It's 13, which is pretty cool. Um, if, if, if you could find a way to pull these out of the deck consistently, it, uh, it seems like a decent play. Uh, Flail, this card seems horrible. <laughs> it's a silver card. Deal 5 damage and spawn a Drow Gear, and the Drow Gear is 5, so it's a 10 strength silver. Um, I think this card is so far the worst one they've shown at least for northern realms it just seems awful i mean 10 strength and anything you want to kill is usually six or higher so this just seems terrible um if it uh, somebody said it might be bronze they might have it printed wrong but this just seems awful Scoyatel. Now, Scoyatel got some good cards. I'm I'm really excited about playing Scoyatel. Uh, first up's Crushing Trap. It's a bronze special item. Deal six damage to each unit at the end of an enemy row. So it's 12 strength. It could be up to 18. Deal. Six damage to each unit at the end of an enemy row. Only only one row. I don't I think this card's gonna be really good. Um, if it's on both sides, um, dealing twelve damage seems crazy. Um, this one I'm not one hundred percent sure on, but I know I'm gonna try it because there's some other cards that I'm for sure going to be crafting day one. Um, next up's the Elven Blade special item. Deal 10 damage to a non-elf unit. This is kind of like the Striga. It's, it, it has this stipulation, so in the mirror it's just useless. Um, except for on, you know, neutral cards that your opponent would run. But this one just doesn't seem very good. I mean, you can run Lightning and have 9. And that's still pretty decent. So running this just doesn't seem like it's feasible. Uh, this card, though, I am all in on this card and the Burza card right here. This combo, I think, is going to be so legit for movement Scoyatel. It's not even going to be funny. Um, apply a hazard to an enemy row. It deals three damage to units on contact. So if they stack the whole row, this is a giant lacerate. And then anything you move to that row also gets hit for three. So I don't know if you can play this again with Ethne or if there's somebody else that can play this twice. But if you can get two of these out on a board, man, I think with that, the Nive Nivellen card, the neutral, 
you can have so much fun with this. It's not even funny. <laughs> I think I, I, I think it's going to be hilarious. I'm definitely going to try it. But, uh, yeah, with, with the Burza, he could pull it. So, I'm, I'm all in on this. I think it's great. Um, next card is Yorveth Meditation. This card is so badass, it's not even funny. He just makes two guys on your opponent's side fight each other. So, if your opponent got a 21 and a 20 strength thing, it's like a 40-point swing. They just... He makes them fight until the one has one strength. It's it's insane. I think it's so awesome. I mean, it, it might suck in, like, the last round where there's only, like, a couple units on the board. But if you play this early and get, like, a, you know, this, this in most cases, this is probably going to be a better than an Igni. If, because they don't even have to, they don't have to be on the same row. They could be here and here, and they just start fighting each other. Um... I think this card is amazing. I'm. I hope I pull it from a pack, but if I don't, I'm definitely gonna craft it because it's just awesome. Plus, too, it's got a squirrel in it. I got my own little sugar glider buddies, so um, definitely a fan of the art as well. But super cool card. Ready? I'm ready for Northern Realms and Scoyatel for sure. Day day one. Um, Skellige got a lot of weird cards. Um, the Clan Corsair, he's a demon support doomed, and he rec resurrects a machine. Uh, I mean, why would you want to resurrect a machine when you can just have a Freya? I mean, this might... If you don't have any machines in your graveyard, this is just three strength. So, since it's a res with a stipulation, it doesn't seem very good. It might maybe like a one of you could put in your deck if you, got, if you want to just draw more, you know harpooners but to me it just seems like not a good idea warship it's a demon machine deal one damage four times so this will help axman out a little bit but it still doesn't seem very good i mean it's 11 strength but and it gets four pings with the for the axman but we'll just have to wait and see I, this one i'd I think there's going to be better archetypes than Axemen, unfortunately for Harold, but um, it's it's a cool card. Just I think there's going to be better options for for Skellige day one, and then we got uh, Joanna. She's a support, heal a bronze or silver unit, then boost boost it by the amount healed. So I guess if somebody were to you know, drop down a Jenga fret or a, a Judah really low if you can heal it and then boost it up. You know, it might be like a 26 point play. It might just be like 16. I mean, it might just be two. You know, it it, it all depends if your opponent's damaging your stuff. If they're not, this this really isn't going to help you out. Um, and and self. The, well, I guess you could self wound the self wounding deck. Maybe could do something with this, especially the the longsword guys. They might be able to get a big boost out of this. So it's it's probably for the the great sword deck. It might be okay in that deck, but I'm not real sure. I I, I think they got better silvers. We'll have to wait and see on this one too. But. Um, Hey, that's the, the video for today, guys. Let me know what you think of the new cards. Uh, we got one more reveal. It looks like it's going to be during Challenger. Um, so they're going to spoil most of the cards there. So I'm definitely ready for it. And it's probably looking like we're going to get this towards the end of December. Maybe maybe before Christmas. Um, like the 20th or the 21st, I'm thinking. But we'll have to wait and see. But like always... Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.